in this section we're looking at converting two parametric equations into a rectangular equation. This is known as eliminating the parameter. Our steps for doing this is to first solve for the parameter in one of the parametric equations. So the first thing we need to do is solve for t or theta or whatever that parameter is in either x or y. So here we have two parametric equations. We have x is equal to t minus 1 and we have y is equal to 3t plus 1. So our first step would be to solve for t in either of these equations. From here we can see that it's probably simpler to solve for t in our first equation. So if we add 1 to both sides, we have t is equal to x plus 1. Now after we have solved for the parameter, we need to substitute for the parameter in the other equation. So we solve for t in the first equation, we're going to substitute for t in the second equation. So we have y is equal to 3t plus 1. We're going to replace a t with x plus 1, since we know that t is equal to x plus 1. So we have 3 times x plus 1 in parentheses plus 1. Now our final step is to simplify this. If we did use our distributive property, we get 3x plus 3 plus 1, which gives us 3x plus 4. So here we have converted our two parametric equation into one linear equation. Here we have another couple of examples of eliminating the parameter of two parametric equations. In our first example, we have x is equal to 2 cosine theta and y is equal to 3 sine theta. When we have our parametric equations written in terms of trig functions, it's best to first rewrite these equations in terms of the trigonometric functions. So here we're going to solve for cosine theta. To solve for cosine theta, we divide both sides by 2. So cosine theta ends up being x over 2. Similarly, here in our second one, we're going to solve for sine theta. So if we divide both sides by 3, our sine theta is equal to y over 3. We know from our Pythagorean identity that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So if we replace cosine of theta, which is x over 2, and sine of theta, which is y over 3, this becomes x over 2 squared plus y over 3 squared is equal to 1. And when we simplify this, this becomes x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1. So here we have eliminated the parameter, and this is now in a rectangular form. In our second example, we have x is equal to e to the 2t, and y is equal to the e, t, e to the t. Now we can rewrite x. x is equal to e to the t squared, since this is 2 times t, so this all becomes e to the t squared. We know from our second equation that y is equal to e to the t. t. So instead of having e to the t, we can replace this with y. So x is equal to y squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we have y is equal to the square root of x. Here we have another example of eliminating the two parametric equations and rewriting it as a single rectangular equation. Our first parametric equation is x is equal to h plus r cosine theta, and our second parametric equation is y is equal to k plus r sine theta. As in our previous example, when we had trig functions, we're going to solve for the trig functions before we rewrite it as a rectangular equation. So solving for cosine theta, we're going to substitute track h from x and divide by r. So cosine theta is equal to x minus h over r. Similarly, sine theta would be y minus k divided by r. So now we have cosine theta and sine theta. We can then apply this to our Pythagorean identity, which says that cosine theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. We know that cosine of theta is x minus h over r. So replacing cosine theta, we have x minus h over r all squared. Replacing sine theta, we have y minus k over r squared is equal to 1. 
we simplify this a little, we get x minus h squared over r squared plus y minus k squared over r squared is equal to 1. Now if we multiply every term by r squared, r squared will cancel here, leaving us just the x minus h squared. If we multiply this by r squared, r squared will cancel leaving y minus k squared. And if we multiply this by r squared, it just becomes r squared. So here, for our final equation, this is our rectangular equation, x minus h plus all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to r squared. And you can see that this is the equation of a circle with center h and k and with a radius of r. In our next couple of examples, we will be writing a set of parametric equations. Here in this question, we are being asked to find this parametric equations for the line that passes through the points 3, 2, and negative 6, and 3. Given that x, which is our first parameter, parametric equation is equal to x1 plus t times x2 minus x1, and our second parametric equation, y, is given is equal to y1 plus t times y2 minus y1, where x1, y1, and x2, y2 represent the points through which they pass. So here this could be our x1, y1, and this could be our x2, y2. So if we use our equations here, our first parametric equation would be x1, which is 3, plus t times x2, which is negative 6, minus x1, which is 3. So x is equal to 3 minus 9t. So here we have our first parametric equation. The second parametric equation, we have y is equal to y1, which is 2 plus t times y2, which is 3, minus y1, which is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, so this is y is equal to 2 plus 1t, or just t. So here we have our set of parametric equations for the given condition. Here we're being asked to find the set of parametric equations for the rectangular equation using first t is equal to x and then t is equal to 2 minus x. So a rectangular equation given is y is equal to x squared minus 3. To find the first parametric equation for this, we know that x is equal to t, so this is already done for us. Now to find y, we're going to replace x with t, since x is equal to t. So our second parametric equation is y is equal to t squared minus 3, since we're just replacing x with t. Now for part b, we're told that t is equal to 2 minus x. To get our first parametric equation, we need to solve for x. So if we add x to both sides and subtract t, we have x is equal to 2 minus t. So here's our first parametric equation when t is equal to 2 minus x. To get our second parametric equation, we're going to replace x with t 2 minus t. So this becomes y is equal to 2 minus t squared, since x was being squared, minus 3. When we simplify 2 minus t squared, we get 4 minus 4t plus t squared, and we have our minus 3. And this simplifies to give us t squared minus 4t plus 1. So here's our second parametric equation for this condition.